a cornerstone, which is the which the owner is required to remove, must be completely removed. But when it is when when he is required to demolish it, he demolishes his side and leaves his neighbor's side. This results in a stringency in the removal of the stones over the, dilute, the demolition of the house. If Elizab says the house built with the main support and smaller materials where the nega appears on the main support, the owner is required to remove all of it. Where it, when it appears on the smaller materials, he removes his side and leaves his neighbor's side. If a house on which a nega appears has an upper story, the beams are considered part of the upper story. If the nega appears on the upper story, the beams are considered part of the lower story. If there is no upper story, the house's stones, wood, and clay are demolished with it, but not the roof tiles, um, literally the rectangles, and the lattices of the windows. Rabbi Yehuda says the frame built on top of the lower story is demolished with it. Its stone, wood, and clay resent its tome as long as they are the size of an olive. As Elia the Kismet says, as small as they are. A confined house makes a person tome from within, and a confirmed house makes a tome from within and without. Both makes tome upon entering. Okay. Um, Mishnah, hey, habone min ha muskar betahor. So there was a house that was quarantined, um, and uh, and somebody and somebody decided that they were going to be a chacham and take some uh, take some unblemished stones from the muskar house. Uh, he just he uh, took stamped some stones and um, and uh, while it was while it, while the house was in quarantine, and he and he took them and reused them in another house. Okay, so now those stones have still got a connection to the house that was uh, that was in um, the, the, the quarantine. Okay, the chaza nega And now the 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 original the house that was originally quarantined. So, uh, so yeah, that now that house that was originally quarantined uh, turned out to uh, to be tame, and 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 it, it you know the nega came back, intensified whatever, and and it, it got a din of of bashing down. So he also had to take those houses out of the new place. Now we had remember we had something analogous when we were dealing with uh, begadim. We we're dealing with clothes, and you're taking patches uh -huh. from one from one fabric and putting it into the other one. You've got exactly the same situation with stones from a house. So if somebody took uh, stones from a house that was in quarantine and used them in a in an, in another house, and and the quarantined house got declared tame, then you got to take those stones out of the out of the second house and destroy them as well. Khazar al Havanim. What happens if the if the nega appears now on the on the on the new on the stones that got transferred? So it's in the new house, but it's on the stones from the quarantined house. Okay. So that is still a, that's the, the stone is still connected to the old house because it was from the quarantined house. So the first house has to be destroyed. But you don't destroy the second house yet. Because now you've got to quarantine the second house because it's just got yeah. to get inside it. So only if this house turns out to be Tahor, then you'll take out these stones and you'll destroy them like the den of the first house. But meantime, you've got to see that the second house is not uh, is not affected as well. Okay. Mishnah Vav, Bayes Shehu, Meisechal Gabe, Bayes Amanuga. Okay. It's a bit of a difficult uh, setup to, to work out over here, but um, basically, how do you have a house within a house? Um, but it it may just be that there's a shade that you, there's 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 some part of the eaves of the house or whatever are um, are overhanging um, another house. Okay, so the house that's under the, the the smaller house that's underneath the the bigger house is the one that's uh, that's got terrace. Okay, a similar situation if you have a tree that is overhanging um, overhanging uh, a house that's got the terrace. I'll give you by some Okay, so Hanichnas Lachitzon Tahor. If somebody walks under the tree or walks into the other house, he remains Tahor, even though Taras has got a din of uh, Tumas or Hell. Um, it's not. Uh, it doesn't. Uh, it, this this particular overhanging case is uh, is not uh, does not transmit. Tumas says Rabbi Elazar ben Azaria. Okay, now do not be confused because he his Baal Machlok is Rabbi Elazar. So there are two Elazars. There's the Stam Rabbi yeah. Elazar, and then there's the Rabbi Elazar ben, uh, ben Azaria. Okay, and they're having a machlokis over here. Okay, I'm a Rabbi Elazar. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. <laughs> I've got I've got gestures enabled on my Zoom, and watch what happens when I um, when I wave my hand. Or what did that happen? Uh, oh well, it's got these funny gestures that when you do things like this, then. <laughs> 
Oh, there it goes. I see it now. Yeah. I just saw, I did something inadvertently that made balloons go up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to Rabbi Elazar Ben Azaria versus Rabbi Elazar. He says that, that that doesn't make sense at all. If you have one stone that was taken out of this out of this uh, Tsaras house, and it causes Tumas or hell, just one stone. Who adds more? How how can how can this uh, uh, the, the entire house not cause Tumas or hell when it itself is under another or hell? Okay, and the halacha follows Rabbi Lazar that uh, that yes, the overhang. Uh, and the easiest way, to, you know, the simplest case is the case of the tree. It's a little easier to visualize, um, but uh, uh, but yeah, that's the um, the, the, the halacha follows Rabbi Lazar. Okay, Mishnah Zayin Hatame Omed Tachas Ilan. Okay, so you've got um, a matzora who's standing underneath a tree, and a regular guy is passing by, and he walks by under the same tree. Tame. He has just become tame from the from the matora. Now, when we say tame, he's not. He doesn't become tame with Thomas Mace, even though we're talking about Thomas Ohel. There, there is an Ohel effect over here, but the but the matora himself is only an avatoma. He's not. He's not like a corpse. Okay, oh. so the person who walks by only gets evening toma, but nonetheless, he be, he does become tame. All right. Uh, with over, uh, tame. Ha or made now what happens if the tower person is just standing around under the tree and the matsura walks past ha ta tame over tahor that's fine because he doesn't have a fixed nakom he's just he's just traveling through and the fact and because he does not because he's he, he doesn't have a fixed nakom and he he doesn't spread the the tumas oil this is distinct from a corpse because if they were carrying a corpse through underneath there the the corpse mm -hmm. immediately takes effect the, so the matsura is a little more lenient than that right in mad tame so if he stops while he's walking he stops even to take a break um even though he's not intending to sit down or stay there as soon as he if he takes a break underneath the tree then everyone else underneath that tree becomes tame the same if they're same if they're busy carrying uh, one of these uh, tame stones out to the cemetery and they and they pass by under a tree that somebody else is standing underneath um if they if they keep going he's tower and so if they stop to take a break or if they put or if they drop the stone then everything underneath underneath that tree uh, becomes tame so how do people walk around I mean you don't know if you walk past the tame bird the you know Someone have a sign on them that says "I'm Tommy," you know. So, so you know, I mean. Yes, that's in the that's explicit in the pasuk. The Matsura is supposed to be walking around going "Tame, Tame." Uh, okay. Yes. I, 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 yeah. Right. He's going not only for a couple of reasons: one, to warn other people so that they shouldn't become Tame, and two, so that they should daven for him. Right. Although, although the um. The the person who's in uh, who's in quarantine has the has the same din of uh, of of tuma, but he doesn't uh, but he doesn't um, he doesn't call out tame tame he doesn't do the prima prima that, that's the difference between them he doesn't have to tear his clothes and he doesn't have to call out tame tame and uh, and he doesn't have have the ritual of the birds if he if he comes out of quarantine clean but uh, so that the, unless he's mochlat that's one of the we saw that with the difference. Once he's confined, he doesn't have to do that then. But, but he's, if he's quarantined, he still has all these din, dinim of tumor. He still has to go outside the camp. No. Right. We only we, remember we saw that Ain Bain. There's no difference between them except for um, Prima, Prima, and and Ziporim. That's all. Okay. I wonder if, if the Mukhrat also has to call Tame Tame. That's an interesting question. Uh, that's uh, They didn't mention that explicitly, but I would guess that's part of the Mukhrat. Uh, the Mukhlat situation. Okay. Okay. Uh, yud, yud. The guy that appear only on a carcass or on a kabakas can become fine tummy for two weeks and they confirm tummy with two symptoms, living skin and or expansion. What is carcass? If he ate neshim, um, uh, he applied neshim to his skin or he received a scar on which hair cannot grow. What is carcass from the crown sloping backward until the vertebrae of the neck? What is kabakas from the crown sloping forward until the hairline? Karakas and kabakas do not combine with one another, nor do they spread from one another. 
Rabbi Yehuda says, if there is a hair between them, they do not combine. If not, if they're not, they do not combine. They do combine. All garments become tummy from the gaim, except those of Gentiles. Clothing purchased uh, from a Gentile should be examined initially. Sin skins of sea creatures do not become tummy with the gaim. If one attacks something that grows on land to the sea skin or a thread or a string, any kind of general susceptible to tummy, tummy, tummy is tummy. Uh, camel's wool and sheep's wool that uh, were mixed together. If the majority is from camels, they do not become tummy from the gaim. If the majority is from sheep, they become tummy from the gaim. If the wool is mixed half and half, they become tummy with the gaim. And the same applies to linen and hemp that were mixed together. Yeah. Okay. And olios. Oh, um, All movable items can be tumor when they are thick as a goad. Reb Tarfin said, may I bury my children if this is not a mistaken ruling, which is a listener heard and misunderstood. A farmer was once walking with the goad on his shoulder when one informed an ohel over a grave. They would come and declare a tummy because the utensil sh uh, sh sheltered a corpse. Reb Akiva said, I will amend the ruling so that the words of the sages remain valid. All movable objects convey tumor upon the person who carries them when they are thick as a gold. Upon with themselves, even they are very thin, and uh, I'm sorry, and upon another person or utensils when they are a handbreadth apart. Or you have a handbreadth wide. How so? If a spindle was embedded in a wall and there is a piece of corpse half the size of an olive beneath it and another piece half the size of an olive above it, even though they are not one above the other, the spindle is tummy. Thus it spreads tumor uh, onto itself no matter what size it is. If a person who sells earthenware pots was passing by a grave with a carrying pole on his shoulder, one end of which forms a roof over a grave, the utensils on the other end of the pole remain tahu. However, if the uh, carrying pole is a handbreadth wide, the utensils become tame. Mounds that are uh, near the edge, uh, near either a town or a road are tame, and whether they are new or old, however, concerning the distant ones, that these, are, those that are new are tahu, where the old ones are tame. What is meant by near? Within fifty cubits, and what is considered old, if they are uh, if they are any sixty years old, these are the words of mayor. The Behuda says near means there are no others closer, and old means no one uh, that no one remembers. Okay, one more. Um, one more. Someone who finds a corpse lying in its usual manner for the first time may remove it in along with the surrounding earth. Someone who finds two corpses may remove them along with their surrounding earth. Someone who finds three corpses that are between fewer and fewer four and eight cubits apart, has located a district of graves. Once it has been determined to be the district of graves, he must search an, um, search an additional area of 20 cubits. If he finds even one grave within 20 cubits, he must search for, from it for an additional 20 cubits, for there is, a, for there is basis for concern. Um, if, or if he had found only this grave initially, he would be required to take it along with the surrounding earth. They don't call this a base of press, though, right? It's not a base of press. It's no, a grave no. Uh, that's mm -hmm. a, a, a base of press is uh, is a grave that was plowed over, so now the body's been churned up and uh, and there may be bits of bone all over. Okay, all right, all right. Um, we have Caleb and we are at Yud Base here. Hey, <clears throat> a needle whose eye or a needle whose eyes or point was removed is tahor. If if it weren't prepared for stretching, it is tummy. A needle of sack makers whose eye was removed is tummy. So once since once writes with it. If its point was removed, it is tahor. If it is used for stretching, then either way, it is tame. The needle that has become rusty, if the, uh, if the rust absorbs the stitching, it is tahor, but not, but if not, it is tame. A small fork that was straightened is tahor. If one bent it, it reverts to its former state of tumor. Wood that serves metal, wood that serves metal is tame. And meal, uh, a metal that serves wood is tahor. How so? A gate key of wood whose bit is of, of metal, even one is tame. A gate, a gate key of metal whose bit is of wood is taho. A ring of metal whose signet is of um, almug is tame, and a ring of almug whose signet is of metal is taho. A tooth of a plate or a gate key or a standing key is tame on its own. Regarding Ascalonian grape mills that broke, but their hook remains intact, they are tame. A pitchfork, a winnowing fork, a rain, and similarly a head comb that had one of the prongs removed and one replaced them with a prong of metal, they are tame. And concerning all of these, Rabbi Shua said the scribes have introduced a novel principle, but I cannot answer it. Yeah. A comb, well, that's it, right? That's it, yeah. Okay. Abos. Okay. Abos. Okay. Uh, Vogtet. 
Rabbi Yossi ben Kisma said, one time I was traveling on the road and a certain man met me and he greeted me and I returned his greeting. He said to me, my teacher, from which place are you? And I said to him, I am from a great city of sages and scribes. He said to me, my master, do you want me to dwell with, do you want to dwell with us uh, in our place and I will give you thousands upon thousands of golden dinners and precious stones and pearls. I said to him, even if you give me all the gold, silver, precious stones and pearls in the world, I would dwell only in a place of Torah. For the time a person of a person's death Neither silver nor gold nor precious stones nor pearls escort the person, but only Torah and good deeds. As it is stated, as you go forth, it will guide you. As you lie down, it will guard you. And when you wake, it will converse for you. As you go forth, it will guide you in this world. As you lie down, it will guard you in the grave. And when you awake, and when you awake it will converse for you in the world to come. And so it is written in the book of Psalms by uh, David, king of Israel. The Torah of your mouth is better for me than thousands of gold and silver. As it states, mine is the silver and mine is the gold. The word of Hashem, Master of Legions. There are five acquisitions that, is, that the Holy One blesses he acquired for himself in this world, and these are the Torah is one of acquisition, heaven and earth are one of acquisition, and he states how abundant are your works, Hashem, with wisdom you made them all, they fill the earth, your acquisition. From where it is known that Avram is one acquisition, for it is written, he blessed him, saying, Blessed Avram, God of earth, the most high, maker of heaven and earth. From where it is known that Israel is one acquisition, for it is written and told, your people passes through. Hashem, until this people you have acquired passes through. And it states for the sake of the holy ones, you are interred in the earth, and for the mighty, all the desires are fulfilled from forth of them. From where, from where it is known that the temple is one acquisition, for it is written, foundation of your dwelling place that you, Hashem, have made, the sacrifice my Lord, that your hands established, and it states that it brought them to a sacred boundary, this mountain that his right hand has acquired. All that is holy, blessed is he, created in this world, he created only for his honor. And it states, everyone is called by my name and whom I've created for this in my glory when I have fashioned, even perfected. And the states, Hashem shall reign for all eternity. Right. And tomorrow is Horeos. I'm sorry, Horeos? Horeos, yeah. Okay. okay. We have base that. Rebuta says, we do not raise one to the Kahuna by the testimony of one witness, said Rebbe Eleazar, when? When there are con contestors. But when there are no contestants, we raise one to the Katuna by the testimony of one witness. Reb Shimon ben Gamil said in the name of Reb Shimon ben ha ha Sagan, the Sagan, no, Sagan, Sagan, we raise one to the Katuna by the testimony of one witness. Okay. A woman who is imprisoned by Gentiles, if because of money, is permitted to her husband. But if it was for the purpose of taking her life, then she is prohibited to her husband. A city that was conquered by a besieging troop, all Kohanim's wives found therein are unfit. But if they are witnesses, even a slave, even a maidservant, these are believed. The person is not believed about himself, says Zakaria ben Hakataz, uh, by this uh, temple. The hand did not move out of my hand from the time the Gentiles entered Jerusalem until they left, and they said to him, a person cannot testify for himself. And in these cases, people who are believed to testify when they are of age about what they saw when they were minors, the person is believed to say, this is my father's handwriting, and this is my teacher's handwriting, and this is my brother's handwriting. I remember so-and-so and that she went out with a veil and her hair untied. Uh, and that so-and-so went out of, uh, to, to, of school to immerse himself in order to eat truma. And that he shared with us on the threshing floor and that this is the base of pras. And I'm told here we used to go in on the Sabbath. And a person is not believed to say so-and-so had a right of way in this place, so-and-so had a stopping spot and utilizing the spot in this place. Um, okay, that's it. Okay. okay and Trimos. Hey, hey. Hey, Dalit. Hey, Dalit. If a sorrow of unclean truma fell into a hundred of saws of clean truma, Beit Shammai forbid, but Beit Hill permit. Um, said Beit Hill, Beit Shammai, since the clean is forbidden to non priest and the unclean is forbidden to priest, then just as the clean is canceled, so too this should the unclean be canceled. Said Beit Shammai to them, no, a clean which is treated in, inleniently and is permitted to non priest and those the clean should be truma, which is treated trigently and is forbidden to non priest. And all the unclean, and after they admitted, Rabbi Eliezer said, Truma must be taken and burnt, and the Kakamans say it is lost because of its small quantity. If a sorrow of Truma fell into a hundred, they lifted it out and go to another place. Rabbi Eliezer says it surrenders uh, the Duma as does as, as does definite Truma. The Kakamans say it renders the Duma only proportionately. 
If a Sar of Tuma fell into less than 100, rendering it with Duma, and some of the Duma fell into another place. If Eliezer says it renders with Duma, as does definitely a Truma. But the Kakaran say the Maduma renders Madu, uh, Maduma only proportionately, and the leaven renders leaven only proportionally, and drawing water renders the mikvah unfit only proportionately. Okay. okay. And that is that for today.